Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss how to multiply fractions, mixed number to proper fraction, and vice versa. So let's have the first example. Paano kapag meron tayong ganito? Example, 3 and a half, the time is mo sa 3 fifth. So may mixed number ka, mo multiply mo ng proper fraction. Are we going to do it like this? Parang 1 times 3. Facing ko sulat. That will be 1 times 3. Tapos 2 times 5, 10. Tapos kakopy mo yung 3. No. Hindi pwedeng ganun. Not by a long shot. Pag may mixed number ka, tapos multiply mo ng proper fraction, kailangan mo munang palitan yung mixed number sa improper fraction. So that will be 2 times 3 is 6. Paplus mo siya, that will be one, uh, 7. So 7 over 2 na siya. Or 7 halves. That's the time na pwede mo na siyang i-multiply ng diretsyo. So that will be around 7 times 3, that will be 21, times 5, that will be 10. And that's the final answer. What, um, lowest term ba ito? Ma, hindi na. Ito na yung lowest term. So 21 over 10, ang sagot sa 3 and a half, 3 and a half times mo ng 3 fifth. Copy-paste ko lang. So you have to change talaga muna sa improper fraction yung mixed number. Bago mo siyang i-multiply na lang ng ganun, ganun, dari-daretso. Paano pag mayroon tayong proper fraction, umultiply mo sa mixed number? So, again, kahit naman balik ta rin mo to, uh, for example, this one, na times mo siya dito, parehas lang to. Uh, kung ano man yung kalabasan ng sagot dito, ganun din dito. Kasi multiplication naman siya eh. Diba? So, going back, kailangan mo munang i-change yung next number, notifications ko sa phone yun. Okay, hindi ko Windows. Uh, Windows 10 na ako. So, next number, kailangan ko munang change siya sa improper. That will be 6 times 1. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 1 ng 5. That will be 11. Copy mo yung denominator. Plus copy mo to At yung Thirds. Or, pwede na natin silang i-multiply directly. Times 11, that will be 22. Uh, 3 times 6, that will be 18. This is the final answer. Pwede mo pa siyang i-lowest term. Divide mo both sides by 2. Kasi pwede, pwede sila both sides. Ma-divide ng 2. That will be 11 over 9. Again, mostly mga teachers natin, hindi sila tumatanggap ng improper fraction. Gusto na kasi nila mixed number. So, i-change mo lang siya sa mixed number. Gusto ko lang ito konti. 11 over 9. So, ilang 9 maroon sa 11? Ito lang. Minus mo 2 at may remainder to tie dito. Ngayon, ano natin siya gagawin mixed number? Yung quotient mo. Again, ayan yung whole, whole number. Yung remainder, that will be the numerator. At yung divisor natin, that will be the denominator. So, or, copy lang natin. 1 and 9. Copy ko din siya dito. So, dun sa tanong na 2 thirds, na times mo ng 1 and 5 6, ay 1 and 2 9. Alright, so let's have another example. Last example na tayo. So, 5 and 1 7 times mo ng 4 9. So, gawin mo mo ng improper fraction to. So, 7 times 5, that will be 5. Plus mo ng 1, that will be 6. Super mo ng 7. Multiply mo siya ng 4 over 9. Then, multiply mo na siya. But again, if you can cancel na as much as possible diagonally, yung 36 at 9, ang common, uh, yung GCF nila, that will be 9. Pwede mo sila uh, divide ng 9 parehas. So, that will be 1 na lang to. Ito naman, 4. Diba? So, mas madali. 4 times 4, 16. And 7 times 4, that will be 7. Oh, so, okay. Paano pag hindi natin siya kinancel? 36 times 36 over 7 times 4 ng 4 over 9. Papakita ko lang na you will still arrive to the same answer. 36 times 4, gamit na tayo ng calc para mabilis. 7 times 9, that will be 62. 
So, yung 144 mo, ay pwede silang i-divide ng 7. Yes. 144 divided by 7. Oh, sorry. Hindi pala. 144, pwede mo silang divide ng... Ito, pwede mo i-divide ng 9. Pala. Yung 144 divided by 9, that will be 16. At yung 63, pwede mo rin silang i-divide ng 9. That will be 7. So, pakita ko sa inyo na pwede. Diba? 16. At ito naman, 63 divided by 9. 7 din. So, parehas pa rin ang sagot, diba? Kung kaya mo siyang i-cancel, pa-diagonally, or up-down, mas paganda. Para hindi ka na masyadong mahihirapan pa pag, pag, pag mag-multiply ka pa ng malaking numero, diba? So, again, itong 16 over 7, uh, Uwi natin mix number din din. So, ilang 7 maroon sa 16? Dalawa. 14. 16 minus 14, that will be 2. So, there you have it. Meron tayo ni or 2 and remainder 2. So, diba? 2 over 7. Copy po sa sangat. So, dun sa tanong na, 5 and 1, 7, to times 1 ng 4 over 9, ang sagot ay 16 over 7, or 2 and 2, 7. And that's the end of the lesson sa paano mag-multiply ng fractions kapag mix number to proper fraction, and vice versa. If kung may tanong kayo, suggestions, comment, please comment down. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Like and subscribe din po kayo, malapit na po ako mag 10K. And I vow to make more. I vow to make more educational videos, especially about some math and language. I'll see you again po sa next videos pa. Salamat po. Bye!